Hey guys, so this is going to be the uh, first video of my uh, the electrical playlist and this one I'm basically talking about atomic theory and uh, this uh, you need to understand this stuff in order to if you want to know what electricity is and what's actually going on this is some of the basic stuff of it and on how it works and what you have to understand so this right here is basically a picture of the uh, copper atom it's a uh, copper its uh, initials are CU, and its atomic number is uh, 29. And uh, so what are atoms? Atoms are basically mass. Mass is everything that takes up space in the universe. And our universe is ma basically made up of uh, mass and energy. And so uh, atoms are what is on the periodic table. If you take an item and you cut it in half again and again and again and again, you can go down into a very small elements and this is its basic atomic size of it so this is you can even go more deep into these and that's when you get into subatomic particles but this is a basic atom now uh, in uh, atoms you have inside here the nucleus which contains the protons and the neutrons and outside are the electrons and as stated here protons are a positive charge and electrons on the outside are a negative charge and neutrons are a neutral charge, they have no positive nor negative. And uh, this is going to be talking about the copper atom because in uh, automotive and much wiring we use uh, copper wiring. So in the copper atom you have 29 protons, uh, 35 neutrons, and also 29 electrons. And that's the, the uh, number of protons is 29. It's actually many times it's equal to uh, electrons. But that number of protons is what makes up its atomic number. And uh, in the copper atom, we have a few different uh, rings that hold these electrons. The first ring, you have two electrons. The second ring, you have eight electrons. In the third ring, you have uh, 18 electrons. And the outside ring, or the valence ring, you have one electron known as the free electron. That's the one that is really flowing during electricity because it's the farthest one out, whereas these ones are held to it. And this one is loosely held. And uh, electricity in, the, in, uh, we call, in science and stuff, uh, they talk about uh, electron theory that, talks, that flows from negative to positive. In the automotive world, we use uh, positive to negative, uh, conventional theory, but this video and probably the next one will be using uh, electron theory. And so it flows, uh, as I stay right here, electricity is the flow of electrons from one atom to another. And it's that free electron that's flowing, because like I said, it's the one that's loosely held to it. So when this electron leaves one of the copper atoms and goes to the next one, it kicks one out and another one takes its place. And the reason why these uh, things are moving in electron theory is because I stated electrons are a negative charge. So because it's a negative charge, it will be magnetically attracted to the positive side of the circuit, as well as it will be repelled away from the negative side of the circuit. And that's uh, basically what voltage is. When the electrons are magnetically attracted to the positive side, because they're electrical, or they're, they are negative, and when they are repelled away from the negative side, that is voltage. So when you got, uh, you have... Uh, a couple of different types of it when it comes to electricity is stated here. Conductors, that stuff that conducts electricity. Conductors have one to three free electrons. Semiconductors have four free electrons. And insulators have five to seven or eight uh, free electrons. That's because, uh, like I stated, the reason why the free electron can flow is because there's less, there's less of them out here and they're farther away. So the less there are, the more easily they can flow. So that's why copper is a good conductor because there's only one. And uh, so basically, you know, what do we use the flow of electrons? Why, how does that create stuff? What do we use that? Well, electricity, which is the flow of electrons, creates two things, heat and magnetism. Uh, as electricity flows, it creates heat. That's one basic thing. And uh, it creates magnetism. So let's say, for example, my arm is a wire and electricity is flowing through it. It creates a magnetic field around it. And that's what we use a lot of times in motors. That's how you convert uh, electrical energy into mechanical energy. And uh, basically, uh, electricity uh, flows at the speed of light, which is 186,000 miles per second. 
So it's all happening very fast. And uh, that's basically it on uh, atomic uh, theory. In my next video, I'll explain what voltage current resistance is. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.